Hi, I'm Jeff, a product specialist here at Redcourt Software, and I want to take you on a little tour of Virtual Time Clock. Because Virtual Time Clock is software that gets downloaded and installed on your computer, you launch it just like you would any other computer program, typically from the dock on a Mac or by double-clicking the desktop shortcut on a Windows PC. The program opens to the in outboard list, which shows you the current status of every worker. You can see who's currently clocked in, who's at lunch, and who's already left for the day. When a worker is ready to clock in or out, they simply select their name from the in outboard list, type in their unique password, and select an action. You can see how the in outboard list is updated with the current status of the worker. When a worker is ready to view a report of their hours worked, they simply select their name, again type in their unique password, click time card, and their regular and overtime hours will be automatically calculated and totaled for them. Now let's take a look at the time clock administration window. From the file menu, I can turn on administration, put in my administrative password, which opens the administration window. Notice that I've got the same in outboard list that I had in the time clock window, but I also have this additional toolbar with common administrative actions. I can do things like add a manual entry if somebody forgot to punch in, I can view time cards for all of my employees. I can make changes to any of the time card entries. I can look at a summary report, which is useful for processing payroll. Or I can even close the payroll period. The last thing I want to show you is the virtual time clock configuration window. I'm going to go up here to my toolbar and click on configure. And this lists all of the administrative control panels for the time clock. Let's look at some of the common ones. Users is where you add and edit time clock users. It's easy to add a new user. All you need is the first and the last name for the user to start using the time clock. This is also where I configure my overtime settings. This is where I can set up my payroll frequency. This is also where I can set up any rounding rules that get applied to my time card totals. You may have more or less configuration items here depending on the addition of virtual time clock you're using. When I close configuration, I'm back in virtual time clock administration, and I can close the administration window one of two ways, either from the file menu or down here from the pop-up, I can switch back into user mode. And now my time clock is ready for employees to start clocking in and out once again.